हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू लारावल 11 रूल्स एंड परमिशन लास्ट वीडियो वी वर सेट अप एडमिन थीम्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन कवर लाइक यूजर लॉगिन नॉट लॉगिन विन टू चेक सपोज हियर आई कैन टाइप डायरेक्टली पैनल एंड डैशबोर्ड आई एम नॉट लॉगिन सो वी आल्सो एक्सेस सो विन टू चेक इट्स ऑलरेडी लॉगिन कैन नॉट लॉगिन सपोज लॉगिन सो ही कैन एक्सेस अदरवाइज इज नॉट लॉगिन सो ही कांट एक्सेस लाइक दिस विन डू इनसाइड इन दिस वीडियो मींस वी नीड टू यूज अ मिडलवेयर so laravel 11 inside how we can use the middleware and middleware wise how we can check like his user login cannot login so in this video i will cover okay because laravel 10 is a different way work and laravel 11 inside a different way works so first of all you are new in the channel otherwise in the series so please subscribe and please press the bell icon so whatever content we are uploading so always get the notification and you can start immediately new thing learning and also do you want to buy any script so just go to our official website arrsolutioncode.com and you can buy it okay so first what we can do it so first we need to create a middleware so just go to your project folder in the project folder inside you need to open your terminal i have already opened my terminal you can see it here like a uh, my path there and i already open so just you can type here psp artisan and make middleware so here we are working like a users and roles means we are working permission wise but we need to check it is a login cannot login and user is login ke admin is login so always need to check this reason i can create like a user otherwise admin user middleware i can create like this name admin user middleware whatever middleware your side there this is the your side dependency but my side need to do like this okay admin user middleware and just press the enter so you can see it here after a few seconds here is a creating new folders right now not there just take few seconds so you can see middleware middleware inside you can see admin user middleware just i will click here so you can see it here like a all things same as a laravel 10 but here different here you can't found the kernel you can see it so what we can do it here first we need to declare use auth same thing we are doing laravel 10 inside same thing here you can do it like use auth you can declare and here we can make condition if auth check is not empty so going to inside otherwise going to else part let's copy and put here and here i can make like auth logout and put here return redirect url okay so let's try any error generated cannot generate error because we have done middleware you can see it here and all setting done inside a middleware so just save these files and just refresh the page no any issue suppose i am going to panel i can go to dashboard i refresh the page so no any issue without login he can access okay so now we need to check first this middleware where we can declare so in laravel 11 just need to go to bootstrap inside you can see dot app dot php before we are declaring here is a new file available like kernel dot php inside app but laravel 11 inside you always need to go bootstrap inside you can see it like app dot php once you click on the app dot php so here you can see it like with middleware so here you need to provide your alias and here you need to declare same thing i think this is the old one so i just remove here you need to declare your middleware so whatever middleware you create so simple use app like a folder name so app slash http slash whatever folder name you are there middleware and after your class name means which class you using so admin user middleware okay now here with middleware you can see it so here we need to provide a code for the middleware so i already copy my other website through so simply i just copy and i paste here like inside a app you can see it here just i need to change like uh, my middleware name so admin user middleware so what i did this variable already there middleware i will start like an array inside alias alias inside you can see it one array suppose you have two middleware just you can declare like this and here you can provide another class suppose you have three middleware so you can do like this you can provide here another class but we have only one middleware 
so admin user middleware now we are provide here alias like a user middleware so this middleware we need to access inside routes so simply you need to go to routes inside you need to go to web.php and here you need to access so simply i just copy my other code again and i just put here root group middleware so here is the panel so what is the our name user admin so just i can change here and i can move this routes inside middleware you can see it okay let's save these files and we can check this working not working so right now i am not logging so automatic need to log out let's refresh the page so here is there is a line number 8 the errors okay just go to bootstrap app.js okay line number 8 because i forget semicolon this is the reason otherwise no any issue okay let's go back again refresh the page here so you can see automatic logout now i am not access because of middleware calling working very well inside bootstrap inside we have call here middleware and also we have declare here middleware and after routes inside we have create a groups for this middleware suppose user middleware so going to here so user middleware inside whatever permission you pass like only you are checking like authentication is the login cannot login suppose login so go otherwise is our automatic logout and direct to home page let's try to login like admin at the red gmail.com and just a login so you can see we are accessing means middleware working very well now i need to go to back so it's open the page so let's make a condition suppose it's already login so automatic redirect to login means dashboard so just go to controller inside go to auth controller and here you need to declare use auth he is already there so if is not empty or check so return redirect panel dashboard okay so let's save these files and just go back and refresh the page so it's already login so automatic redirect into dashboard you can see it here now i am always go so it's always redirect let's shout out in this video also logout button so sign out the logout button whatever you can think just go to resources inside views inside panel inside layout inside you can see the header.blade.php just scroll down once open and here you can provide a url for the logout url log out and here you can change like a logout okay now you need to create a new routes inside web.php like here and you can change to your logout and also you need to create a new function inside auth control logout let's close like not non-usable because the confusion this is the reasons so now you can go to f also close and we can create a new function inside auth controller function logout and here i can make like auth logout and here i can make like return redirect url means whatever url you are there this url redirects okay so it's done let's try it's working not working i just go back again and i just click here and log out so it's working very well no issue you see so i hope you are clear about middleware i will explain again what i did first i will create a middleware using the commands same like this command php artisan make php artisan make middleware admin user middleware whatever name you need to create next once create a middleware here we have provide our permission user login so you can access whether user not login so is automatic logout and redirect to outside after this middleware we need to declare so where we can declare bootstrap inside app.php first we can declare above and after we have write some code like alias username user user admin i have created my alias and here you can provide like a class whatever middle name you had did and once this one done after you need to go to routes inside web.php and here you need to pass like a middleware same thing you are doing laravel 10 other laravel 8 9 same thing you need to do here laravel 8 9 10 is working kernel.php and here is a working like a bootstrap inside app.php otherwise no any new okay so i hope you have clear so next video i will explain roles 
so now our project starting is the main part okay right now this is the thing i think you already done in your back end but now we can start like a new part like here we can create a roles once role create after we can provide role space permission once role space permission done after we can do users so one by one i will show you everything how to work permission inside laravel 11 so what do you have any question about like a middleware how to work means authentication with so please comment out and do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and thank you for watching error solutions